Hi guys, so I'm making a Warhammer 40k chess set and as you can see I'm making it with Orcs and Space Marines and this is something I wanted to make for well probably about the last two years since I kind of started this channel but the one thing that always put me off making the uh, this chess set and that was painting the miniatures um, mainly because if you go back and watch my older videos you'll notice that I used to absolutely hate painting miniatures but that all changed about three months ago when I was watching a video by Rob, the Honest Wargamer, all about the slap chop technique. And yeah, ever since watching that video, I am now loving painting miniatures. Uh, as you probably have noticed in the last sort of couple of months, there's a lot more videos of me painting miniatures. Uh, just because I love it. I can't, uh, yeah, can't get enough of the little guys. And the great thing is, it now means I'm painting miniatures to a standard I never thought I could. Um, obviously painting them in such a short time as well, which is just amazing. Um, and yeah, I'm now able to make this Warhammer 40k chess set. So if you've been following along, there's quite a few videos out so far uh, of me painting sort of a variety of the pawns, the knights, the kings and all the rest of it. Uh, and today I'm going to be doing the orc bishops. Yep, I'm making a couple of orcs and I'm making them into bishops. So I thought for these guys I would turn some flash gits. And the reason for this is, well, there's a couple of reasons. One, I just love the size of the guns these guys have got is well it's just nuts but there's a couple of guys here they're kind of obviously pirates but they've got some nice hats uh yeah bases obviously don't need them um but yeah a couple of these guys have got like pirate hats and they kind of almost look like sort of bishop pointy hats and that's the reason why i like the idea of using these chaps i want to say a big thank you to those guys over at chaos cards for sending me these uh, this box of flash gits uh, as well as loads of other miniatures that i've been using in this warhammer 40k chess set so yeah, Chaos Cards, thank you so much. There's a link in the description, guys. And there's also a discount code to get 5% off any of the, uh, the miniatures they do. And it's uh, Checkmate, all in capitals. But get all the details down below, guys. So go and, uh, go and check them out and show them some love. So yeah, back to this. Obviously, usual thing, we get all our bits that we're going to need, which is some glue, some good old snippers, and a nice sort of scalpel to uh, tidy up any mould lines and the sprue bits. So yeah, going through the instructions, uh, these ones are, well, they're pretty easy to put together as they're pretty sort of, uh, well, they're kind of the same really, all the backs are the same, fronts are the same, um, so you can sort of mix and match them, uh, which is pretty cool. So obviously I'm just going to take two of these guys, so there's five in the box, which obviously means I'm going to have some bits left over for my bits box, which is pretty awesome because I, I do like having some spare bits because I do want to mess about and do some kit bashing. So yeah, these ones had quite a few um, mould lines, or join lines, or, well, I'm not too sure, but they had lines. Uh, so yeah, so using the old scalpel, just sort of dragging it across, uh, nice and gently. Uh, obviously, you're better off doing quite quite a few sort of uh, drags along, rather than one sort of deep scrape. Um, but yeah, so quite a few lines on these guys. I don't know if these are one of the, the older sort of box sets that um, the Warhammer does, or Games Workshop even. So like a lot of their, their sort of newer miniatures uh, are very clean and don't have anything on them, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, these ones did need a little bit of tidying up. But uh, so as obviously I'm only doing the two of them, uh, it didn't take too long at all. So I cut out all the bits I needed for, for both the figures I wanted. And then, yeah, simply a case of gluing them. As I say, obviously all the, uh, the Warhammer figures I've ever had, they all go together really, really nicely. Uh, never any sort of like gaps or anything so you haven't got to sort of mess about filling in bits later so yeah so obviously doing them both together just because obviously it makes things easier to sort of do them well both at once really and yeah simple put them together put the uh, the arms on uh, i love these guns as well the guns that they get are very basic uh, as obviously, as you can see it's just like a, a rectangular box uh, but then you add bits to it which i think is a great way of uh, of making the guns up so the heads, this is say, this is one of the other reasons why I wanted these guys. Uh, it's this guy here, obviously Pirate Jack or whatever his name is. Uh, there's another one sort of over here somewhere. And yeah, I just loved the hats on these. Uh, because again, when I sort of make this game, or the Warhammer chess set, I want it so you can easily recognise which figures are meant to represent which chess figures. Um, just to make it easier for obviously both, both people who are playing. Because I didn't want to have to write on the chess pieces what they were. I wanted you to be able to see quite easily uh, what one is and what the other one is. So yeah, so this is the bit I really enjoyed, uh, making the gun up. Uh, there's quite a few bits and pieces, you can sort of vary these out, 
uh, obviously good old mix and match. Uh, and yeah, and say so the size of these guns, they are just absolutely mahoosive. Uh, but it makes these figures stand up really nicely. Because uh, you certainly wouldn't want to come across one of these chaps with one of these, uh, so, well, kind of like a rocket launcher, really. So, as I was saying, obviously, you want to make these easily distinguishable uh, on the chest set. And as these are going to be the bishops, I want to give them cloaks because the um, the space marines that I'm using, uh, they have cloaks, but obviously, luckily, they came with cloaks. So, one of these guys did have a cloak, but I thought as I'm going to make them, I'm better off making two cloaks myself. Just otherwise, it'd be difficult to replicate the cloak that uh, that came with it. So this stuff I've had quite a while, obviously green stuff. Uh, mine had a few hard bits in it. Um, oh, I say I've had it a while. I've only had it about seven months, eight months. Um, but yeah, there's a few lumpy bits that seem to have, well, gone off, I guess. Even though they hadn't been in contact with the other colour. And then obviously to give this stuff its true name of green stuff, you mix the blue and the yellow. And then lo and behold, you get green stuff. Um, took a little bit of a while to, to move this in, say, because it is getting cold now in the UK. Um, and I'm quite reluctant to put the heating on for too long. <laughs> so this stuff was quite uh, quite solid. Uh, this is where I really need to get more tools. I don't really have many tools at all when it comes to making things with green stuff or clay or any of that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, so these cloaks, as good as they kind of are, I could have made them a whole lot better. Uh, but luckily, obviously, making these cloaks for orcs, as we all know, <laughs> this is why I love making things for orcs, things don't need to be too neat. Uh, if anything, the less neater, the better. Uh, just because orcs do tend to, well, they salvage a lot of stuff. So these cloaks, I'm kind of thinking they've salvaged these from, well, I don't know, dead animals, I guess. Um, yeah, because hey, the end result of these cloaks, whilst it was okay, and I'm happy with them, I know I could have done a much, much better job um, if I had more tools uh, and obviously spent more time and more practice. That's the main thing with this, this hobby. Um, we're all going to start out pretty pants, unless you're really lucky. Uh, and it is just a case of trial and error with a lot of stuff, watching other people's videos. Um, and then obviously the best thing is try it yourself, see how you like it, and then, well, correct yourself the next time. Okay, so we're nearly ready for my favourite part, and that's the uh, the painting. Uh, but these guys, obviously normally I would just glue them down onto my little paint handle. But because these guys have got the big chunky weapon, it kind of makes it very difficult to paint up and under. So that's why with these guys, I'm going to do what I've done with some of the orcs, and that is drill a hole in their feet, uh, mainly their heel, because obviously there's a lot more chunky a bit there. Stick on these rods in, and then I can put the rod then into the painting handle. Just so then this thing's off, like raised off the painting handle, and I can get sort of up and underneath it. Um, obviously you can't do this kind of thing with all the miniatures. As a lot of them, uh, if you try to drill in their feet, you'd break them. But uh, with the Yorks, because they are quite big and quite chunky, they have a nice size feet. Uh, and this means, yeah, you can stick a rod in their feet. So yeah, done little holes in the bottom of my, uh, my little painting handles. So basically the things are upside down, but it's still a comfortable sort of thing to grip. Uh, and then, yeah, get some nice sort of strong, solid wire and pop the suckers on obviously we'll glue them on just so they don't uh, sort of fall off or, or pop off or anything uh, and yeah there we go now ready to uh, well let's get this guy slap chop painted as we know that is uh, my go-to technique because it's what's made me really enjoy painting first thing we do is prime these guys in black as that is obviously my sort of go-to method uh, and then yeah once they're painted black then we can do the old dry brushing so typically I do a grey first. Uh, this pot's actually run out. I've made my own grey up and put it inside this pot just because it's, well, it's a nice sized pot. So the usual thing, you get loads of paint on your brush and then you try and get rid of most of that paint off your brush. So I always think it's a bit of a waste of paint. Um, I can't think of any other way to get the paint on here in a dry brush kind of way uh, without doing that. Um, and if anyone knows me, I'm, um, I'm quite frugal with my money. Uh, some may say tight, but yeah, I, I don't like wasting things. And I do feel sometimes when I'm doing this, I am kind of wasting the paint. But um, hey ho, we have to do it because obviously it gives us the result that we uh, we are after. Plus, I am now buying some some big bottles, the uh, the cheap sort of acrylic poster paints uh, for kids. You get these big old bottles, and then like a, about a pound each for about a liter. 
Uh, so I'm getting a white and a black of that. Just so I can make up my own grey and, well, still got the white. So, yeah, dry brush everywhere uh, with, obviously, the grey. Try and get it in nooks and crannies. But this is the other reason why I like doing this, because when you do the dry brush, if you can't reach the inner bits, then they are going to stay just generally darker, which I think makes these look more realistic, because, obviously, yeah, the bits that you can't paint are nice and dark, which is pretty cool. And, yeah, obviously, doing the same thing with the white. Uh, obviously, get white on a brush, get most of it off the brush, and then good old dry brushing. Um, and I say I say this every time, but I actually love the look of them when, when they're in this sort of black and white stage. I, I think they do look pretty cool. Um, I have actually got a kill team that I've made up, and I've painted them like this and left them like this, just because it gives them an eerie, ghostly look. Um, and they do have skeleton heads as well, which, uh, which is pretty cool. And yeah, obviously it doesn't take too long at all doing that. So the reason I like about Orcs painting them, they do have a lot more going on. Uh, as much as I love the Space Marines, because they're big and chunky, uh, they are obviously pretty much just blue. Whereas, obviously, the Orcs are... There's a lot more colour going on. So the Orc I just held up there is one from the chest set, as obviously I'm trying to keep them all looking sort of the same, as they're meant to be part of the same sort of group or clan. Um, not that I've ever sort of looked into the kind of clans there are with Orcs, because I know there's quite a few sort of varieties, and they have obviously different colours um, and all the rest of it. So, yeah, usual thing, I'm using the Plague Bearers green, or contrast green, for the Orc skin, just because I absolutely love this colour for Orcs. Um, it really does seem to go in all the nooks and crannies, and just gives lots of variation in their, in their sort of skin tone, which, yeah, I absolutely love. While I am painting, just want to say a big shout out and thank you to all my lovely patrons. And my new patrons this week, uh, Want Pants 2. Roper and Kim Harder Fog. Thank you very so much, guys, for helping sort of support the channel, as well as Easy Roller Dice and Any Cubic, who are my sponsors. So links in the description, guys. Go check them out. Yeah, so obviously some of the paints I use, well, they're not contrast paints because I haven't got sort of the required colour that I need. Uh, and obviously one of them is the metallic colours. Um, I know you guys keep obviously mentioning to me there are certain contrast paints that would do a very good job. Um, for the sort of like the, the silvers and the copper and bronze and stuff. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have them. And at the moment, uh, well, this sort of month or this month time of year, uh, obviously money's a bit tight as it goes elsewhere. So yeah, so keep mentioning the paints I need to get though, guys, because I have got a memory like a sieve and I do forget. Uh, but I will hopefully get some, uh, some more contrast paints. Um, and then I can start doing the sort of silvers and the, uh, the coppers with the contrast paints. So yeah, so his cloak, um, I'm painting it the same colour as I did for the um, the Space Marines. Again, just so it ties them all in and it makes the bishops look, well, similar to the same bishops on the other other side. So yeah, again, I, I love painting orcs. So there, there was a lot more colours um, and you can be a bit more wilder with the colours because obviously orcs don't take themselves seriously in any kind of way, uh, which I absolutely love. So you can't really paint an orc wrong. And if you've seen one of my previous videos, I painted some Orcs purple. Um, well, Orc ninjas that I painted purple, just because obviously sneaky little things. Uh, and yeah, they look cool. So yeah, with Orcs, you, you can't go wrong. Whatever you do, it's going to just look great. So that's the, yeah, the whole painting done. And obviously the last thing I normally do is put a wash on. And this goes on all the, uh, the non-contrasty paints, just because otherwise they look a bit too clean, too, a bit too fresh. So good old wash, just sort of dirties them up uh, and gets them how I like them to look. So again, guys, this is all about um, everyone has a different sort of outlook and what they like the look of in regards to miniatures being painted. So this is definitely my happy go to. Um, you'll be different. You may look at this and think, oh, no, it looks too dark, looks too grim, uh, looks dirty looking. And that, that's fine. Um, I say we all have our own sort of, uh, well, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And to me, this is, I just love how I paint these things now. Um, and you'll, obviously you'll see most of my things that are painted are painted in the same sort of way. And that's because obviously this is my go-to. This is my, my happy place. Um, but we are all different. And it is a case of finding what you like. So yeah, never worry about what people think about your painting. If you're happy with it, then great. That's, uh, that's all that really matters. Anyone else's opinion is, well, just that, it's, it's their opinion. 
So yeah, it didn't take too long at all to get these uh, these two chaps painted. Um, and say so these are now on the uh, the chessboard, and I have just now three more figures to paint, and then the chess set will be complete, which is just amazing. I say this is something I have wanted to make for at least two years, um, and the fact it's now almost finished is just amazing. Um, but say so yeah, I will possibly sometime in the future be making other um, other chess pieces from different sort of well different Warhammer sort of figures. So obviously in this one I've used the Orcs and a Space Marines just as that seems like a, a natural sort of uh, Warhammer 40k chess set to make. But um, yeah, in the future I may look at doing other other sort of thing. So that's them guys done and now they can go on their bases. Obviously I threw away the bases that came with the figures because I'm using these nice clear bases that I get from Fluid 3D Workshop. There's a link in the description guys. They do all kinds of bases, obviously the clear ones, they do normal black ones. And they do a whole variety of sizes, shapes, uh, and thicknesses, which is pretty cool. Because as you can see, these are on some nice sort of thick bases. And the pawns are, all, are on the smaller ones. Again, this just helps differentiate between the, uh, the pawns and obviously the, uh, the other figures that take up the, uh, the back row. Uh, back row, even. Uh, yeah, again, I, I just love it now because the orc side is now complete. Um, and I just love every single one of them. Um, oh no, I haven't completed it, have I? Silly me, I've got the castles to do. Uh, yeah, I'm just waiting on some figures for those, and then that'll be the orcs all done. And yeah, uh, absolutely loving how this looks. So uh, yeah, can't wait to have a game of this. Um, don't forget guys, I will be going down to Chaos Cards, and I'll be taking this with me once it is complete. Um, I'm hoping to do that soon, but it, it may now be next month now. Uh, it was going to be this month sometime, but obviously time, well, it just seems to be whizzing past. So it may well be next month. Um, it's also my, bump, my birthday next month. So that could be a good day to go down. So yeah, guys, I will be taking this down to Chaos Cards in Folkestone. Um, I will be going down there and doing a little painting session as well. Uh, but I will give details. As soon as I know any dates, uh, I will let you guys know. Okay, guys, yeah, don't forget to leave some comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. What you thought of, obviously, this Warhammer 40k chess set. Um, and yeah, if you just want to say hi, say hi. I do respond, or I try and respond to every message. Um, yeah. Okay, guys. Well, comment, subscribe, eat cookies, share. You know what I'm talking about. I'm waffling. It's time to go. All right, guys. Take care. Bye for now.